The Cardinals are through two weeks of fall camp. Now there's still some things to be smoothed out, but they'll get a good sense of their team with a scrimmage tomorrow, leading into the final two weeks of training camp. And then we got a bunch of battles going on. So this is their last chance live to really let them show what they, they know at this point, let their coaches know how much they trust them or how much we trust them. Polish up the details. That's, that's really what it is, the scrimmage of all just this um, make sure just perfecting our craft even more. You know, I feel like we we still got some things to work out. So I just tomorrow I just gonna perfect our craft. While UIW scrimmage will go a long way towards finalizing the look of its offense, the Cardinals' identity on that side of the ball has gradually been formed ever since the new staff arrived on campus. We just got better from January when the coaches first came to now. We just got better. The O line got better. Uh, we just been hitting the weight room real hard. Quarterbacks got better. Running backs. I feel like. We just gonna be doing good. I, I, I don't see nothing less than a conference championship. I, I see us going to the playoffs because we're a hundred times better than last season. A hundred. There's a lot of excitement about what we've done so far, but at the same time, you know, a lot of young guys out here getting reps. Um, big scrimmage coming up tomorrow, so I think we'll know a little bit more after that. But you know, I think um, right now in camp, we're we're light years ahead of where we were last year, especially offensively. So making a lot more plays. The excitement from Morris is more tempered, but optimistic on the offense's progression and potential. Yeah, we're getting better every day, which is a positive. Um, you know, we're, we're into the camp where it gets a little mundane, and, uh, you know, we're going against the same defense every day. So, uh, but, but I've been pleased with where the defense is and us. We're kind of throwing haymakers back and forth. We'll do good for a little bit, then we'll switch to them. So that's usually the sign of a good team is uh, we've got good competition going on. But the biggest challenge lies in identifying a starter at quarterback. Four men are competing for the job, and time is winding down to establish one of them as the starter. I mean, like it or not, here next week we gotta we gotta pick two and push all the reps towards them. So find out who our starter is, and uh, you know you can analyze all you want, which we're doing. You know we have completion rate, interceptions, the touchdowns, all the stuff you you analyze from a quarterback. But uh, but also you gotta look at who the team's listening to, who they're following, and and kind of what kind of charisma they have on the field. So uh, it'll it'll be an interesting time. I mean, this is this is as late as I've been in a while, not knowing in my mind when I when I go to sleep at night who it is, but. Uh, but we'll figure it out in the next couple of days. It's a super talented quarterback room. Uh, get, trying to get the young guys caught up, and they've done a good job. But ultimately, Coach Morris will decide uh, who's the best uh, player and gives us the best chance to, to win on Saturdays, and that's what it's about. Regardless of who wins the QB battle, the Cardinals are eager to display their new offensive scheme. I think that we'll have a pretty open playbook. Um, he's a super creative mind. Um, it, it's been a super, super good time to play for him. So um, I'm excited to see what he uh, pulls out of his hat come game day. We run, we run a lot. so. But other teams, I don't think they run as much as we do. So by them being tired, we're still going. We're still going 110 percent. They're going to be tired. So I just feel like we're probably going to go fast forward. They're going to be moving backwards. So I just feel like that. So. And game day arrives soon, September 1st at New Mexico. For Sports Tonight, I'm Mike Lefko. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.